I got a hangover. It's okay. I'm drinking coffee. It should fix it just any minute now. Been a, almost a victim of a dog attack. I don't think he likes me. All right, I'm gonna leave Seth down, man. It's okay. The guy said he was just playing. Somebody crashed. I missed that because I was hungover. Me and Trent are taking our medicine. Yep, it's almost as much fun watching people fly as it is to fly because I never ever see anybody flying hard. <laughs> it's good. Well, this is silly. We're pilots. No, man. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm getting up there, man. It's going to blow out in a minute. No. <laughs> wow. I've developed a cough. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Let's plug out some music. Oh, yeah. Ah, wait. Fun damn morning that was. I woke up, I drank my hangover medicine, then went flying. I call that a jackpot or a hat trick. <laughs> Last up there this morning, huh? It feels good. I woke up with a throbbing headache. That's why I got here late. Yeah. yeah. I did too, man. It was a hangover. I diagnosed it. <laughs> morning, Sean Hayden. How you doing? Somebody called me. I thought it was you. It was Michael. Donnie Lee brought me a dang breakfast burrito for Burger King and just said, hey, here. Hey, I, she, she was giving some away, man. Just a cool idea. I, I was like grateful for it, you know? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> First one up. Uh, some dude crashed first thing this morning. Yeah, that's what I heard. I wasn't there for it. I was still hanging over, but... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't you, huh? No, it wasn't me. I quit playing games close to the ground. I decided that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, foot dragging is, is acceptable, I guess, but... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like this. Yo, good morning. Hello. I met you already, right? I about forgot your name. Richard. Richard. That's what happens when you meet like 20 blue people and everything starts bleeding together. <laughs> Limo. <laughs> this is free flight time for sure. How about it? That is so cool. Who would have thought putting a curve glider on tie down straps could be so entertaining? <laughs> With the man. Yay! Yeah. That was fun. Mr. Thank Jeff, you. Jeff Cohen. Somebody had to do it, right? Probably. Besides, uh, besides Dale and old Fister guy, he's probably the yeah, most famous dude right. in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Second. Third. Third. Third famous, Third. most famous no, no, guy no, no, right no. here. <laughs> Prototype testing facility. <laughs> Looking at approximately one tenth horsepower engine right here, <laughs> fueled by Monster Ultraviolet. <laughs> there was this one time we were 
at the side farm. Ooh. I'm gonna need the right Just slowly, we don't want to get out of control. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. All right, good. All right. Oh, it's so strong. <laughs> we got new tricks. That very well could have been a first in the world. Huh? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we, yeah. we need someone to verify that. that. We're going to want to get some clearance so that we can fly in this controlled airspace. This guy here is the man, the connection. <laughs> it closes, crash. So we can't use cameras inside this facility. But we, hey, there's Jeff going. We just did a uh, tour of the tower and the Tracon facility at Fort Smith Regional. And then we got to watch a bunch of Hornets take off, and like some, some the Blue Angels, but the real military version. Oh look, no guns or knives either. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that guys. Yeah, so we can take pictures out here. So that's what we're doing. Taking pictures outside the tower. Wait bye. See you guys. Thank you. Stop. What are you doing? I want to moon them. No. We find one. Stop. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Trip to the store, check. Hello. Everything you need? You gonna look at the tornado shelter right there? Yeah. Cause we have to run from the storms, we gotta know where to go. So if the bombs drop, uh -oh. this is where you run. Is the shelter locked? Son of a gun! Uh oh. Tornado shelter, you look at So this is what a tornado shelter looks like when they when they come for you, you just better hope the guy with the key shows up. Yeah, we can certainly hide in the crack here and pray that the debris doesn't get you. Is this how it works, Britton? Wow. Is this how you do it, man? <laughs> All right, so we concocted a plan. We'll do a cross-country run, a group cross-country run. To... Where are we going, Kavanaugh? Are you going? Well, I'm going to test the I'm going to go till I get tired and then come back you know going south group cross country south that's all we know <laughs> see how many miles an hour we're doing it'll take at least an hour to get there on a paramotor for sure Nevada an boys coming with us i hope so did they, anybody tell them okay good sweet rain that bird shit michael <laughs> All right, helmet secured. Let's get on this paramotor. Everything looks good. Time to launch. Let's crank her up. Clear. Oh, it's turbulence, big time. I can tell with this new prop, the throttle response is delayed just a little bit. It doesn't wind up as fast as that lighter E-prop, but the vibration is a little deeper. I think I kind of like it, actually. I don't know. It's just there's a change, a noticeable change. And that always is trippy when you fly these paramotors. Power line pole out here. I don't see any wires, but then again, you would. Oh, I see paragliders in the distance. Awesome. Hey, what our buddies are doing, huh? Damn, I see the trees whipping down there. This is a turbulent day. This this day would not be comfortable for beginners. I, I'm, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I'm just sort of taking the bumps as they come across. Winds hitting the water, bouncing over that row of trees, and it's happening up here above it. We'll climb up to go over this water. I know I can bail this field, so I'm not super concerned about it. But say there's a terrible collapse or something. I'm gonna get lower, penetrate better. I ain't even looking at my speed. I'm doing 23.8. Oh, look at this bird. He's struggling too. Sorry, I know the, I know the struggle, buddy. Dodge this patch of trees with altitude. Only when it swings me like 10 feet, I'll reach out and grab a tip toggle and just sort of dampen these bumps out. These bumps are coming off these trees where the wind's going over it. But look here, I'm fit to get on the other side of these trees. Oh yeah, ride them, cowboy. Shift only. I think I'm gaining on them. Let yourself go. Slow and low. That is the tempo. I see power lines. Woo! 
big ones. I don't want to hit them motherfuckers. I mean, I don't want to hit those power lines. It takes less RPMs to hold level with this bigger prop. For some reason or another. Hog damage. That's pigs right there, y'all. I wonder if this is what them boys felt like on that Icarus race. Alright, I think I am gaining on them now. Let's foot drag. What you think? I need to practice. Alright, that was fun. Wow, I've never caught Brenton Shaw on a cross country before. He probably going slow. I saw him turning some circles a while ago. Brown chicken, brown cow. Alright, I caught Brenton. I'm going to pull my trims in. Uh, oh, that was good. So at this point, I have a total microphone failure. It's not recording anything. But the gist of it is I started getting phone calls from the guys I were flying with. And they were telling me somebody got hurt at the field. And then another call come in and they couldn't hear me saying that I could hear them. And then I got a call back and it was broken, talking on the paramotor. But what I heard was Brian West is dead. Brian West is dead and they couldn't really hear me talking and I was just it's like getting punched in the gut man I'm I'm pretty good friends with Brian I love the guy he's great and it, it just totally devastated me and at this point I just I just turned around and went back toward the field I, I wasn't even, I didn't even take they tried some people tried calling me back and I wasn't even taking phone calls I didn't I just didn't feel like talking to anybody. I was completely and totally upset. Probably shouldn't even have been flying. But I spent the next 30 minutes heading back thinking that my friend had died. And a guy did die. But what they were telling me on the phone was a guy with Brian West is dead. And it, the a guy part was blanking out. And I wasn't picking up. The, it was a bad connection on the phone or paramotor noise. Whatever the reason, what I was hearing was not exactly factual information. So I'm just going to skip on to, to where I get back here. So at this point, I arrive on the scene and I see that it's not Brian's glider down there, but that it's Richard's glider. And I could see the, you can see the law enforcement lights flashing in the distance. And uh, I take one more look and... That's it. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm done with this flight. I'm headed back to the camp, and I've already decided that I'm going to pack up and go home at this point anyway. So, yeah, it's it was true. Somebody, somebody lost their life. It wasn't Brian. We still all the here. She was just all broke up. I'm sure. I was all broke up. I cried the whole f***ing flight back. Jesus. I just want to say just how messed up it feels making a video right now. It, I don't know. We don't know what happened. The, when I witnessed said that it looked like he locked into a spiral and spiraled, locked in all the way down to the river and crashed and he got, he died. And I'm all up. I, I mean, I'm all messed up about how I should feel, but you know, I'm, I don't feel any relief that it wasn't Brian. And it feels awkward that I should. I didn't know Richard. I met him. Said, you know, what's your name? I'm Richard. That's as much interaction as I have with the guy. And I hate it. I really hate it so bad. There's no good feelings that come of it. Oddly enough, you know, I was praying that it wasn't Brian. And it wasn't Brian. It's very sad. Then this foot drags over. Everybody's packing up and rolling out. I'm going to join them. This is a tough one. So I packed up camp and started traveling just so everybody basically bounced last night. I just feel like I owe y'all a conclusion to the video as, as screwed up as it was. I talked to the the 911 caller, the second closest eyewitness to the accident. The description that I received from the eyewitness was the pilot went into a locked spiral. He watched him spiral from whatever altitude. He had enough altitude, apparently. And the eyewitness was just thinking, oh, look, he's doing some acro. 
and he was locked in and he just he went below the tree line and this is at some distance he said that he thought wow that was a really low exit and then the guy never came up and then the other man that was with him spiraled down he could tell he came down to, to land and he knew you know he could tell that the other pilot landed so he knew instantly something was wrong jumped in his truck and rolled that way quickly and dialed 911 for the authorities it's hard to go back to regular cow mode man uh, it's only been you know a few hours since that that event and uh those those high emotions that i had i got some sleep uh, I, I feel a little clearer now in my head I really feel, I really feel sad for that man and his family. And uh, I hope that they eventually find some comfort. You never know when your time's up. We don't get to pick it straight. Straight up assumption, we assume that the man G-locked. If you don't know what that is, when, the, when you lock into a spiral on a paraglider, you know, it depends on the specific loading and things, but you may be pulling upwards of three Gs. Uh, that's three times the force of gravity. So if you're a 220 pound man, all of a sudden you weigh 660 pounds and the blood just pulls down out of your head and you pass out. We may, we may never know what happened. Just sharing my thoughts, I guess. I just hope that, you know, the punch in the gut that I felt is less for the people that were closer to this man. Everybody be safe out there. Train hard, practice a lot. Don't don't get too far deep. Don't get over your head with tricks or maneuvers or whatever. Anyway. Anyway, y'all call out. 